No matter what car you drive or how safe it is, AAA, the Automobile Association of America, says that more of us will be hitting the roads this Labor Day weekend. Hampton Pearson has more on the holiday weekend travel forecast and what it says about the economy. Along the busy I-95 corridor between New York City and the Virginia and Carolina beaches, we found lots of travelers taking advantage of falling gasoline prices to squeeze in one last vacation before the kids go back to school and getting a jump on what could be the biggest Labor Day travel period in five years. Just leaving from Williamsburg, Virginia, heading back home, and possibly over to Labor Day we'd like to go away, but the kids will be going back to school soon. Gas prices are a concern, but you save up for that over the year as you go along, and unless they go way over the top, like over four fifty-five dollars, we may uh, change the plans. I don't think it ever stops me from taking a trip. To tell you the truth, <laughs> I'm going to go on vacation. I go. An estimated 34 million Americans will travel at least 50 miles away from home during the Labor Day holiday. That's according to AAA. 29 million, 85 percent, will travel by automobile, up 4.3 percent from last year with the average round trip covering just under 600 miles and consumer spending about $800. AAA officials say it's not just cheaper gasoline prices that has more Americans planning to hit the road, but growing optimism about the economy, especially housing. Americans are feeling more optimistic about their personal financial future. Unemployment numbers have improved. Consumer sentiment and consumer spending are also improving, as well as those housing prices. And that's making them feel more confident and that they can take a last summer vacation. A big comeback from the recession. Back in 2009, AAA says there was a 30% decline in Labor Day travel. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Hampton Pearson in Washington.